Welcome to JT Gatoring, creator for the DIY Outdoorsman. Young or old, new to the outdoors, or a seasoned redneck, this is where I share my outdoor experiences. So today, we are going to be doing PBC guides for the John boat. So, the ones that I had on here before were really thin PVC, and going over 60 miles an hour on the highway, they sort of bent and cracked and uh, didn't work out well. So I went ahead and got some Schedule 40, some of that thicker PVC, and we're going to go ahead and make some for the strong boat and the trailer. Now, as you see, I've got a bag of hardware because I'm going to be reusing a mounting place on this trailer, and I'll go ahead and show that to you. We also have two corners, 90s, elbows, whatever you want to give them a call. And then just have a 8 or 10 foot piece of PVC, we'll see how long it is, I'm not exactly sure. I think it's 8 foot, but we'll figure it out. This is just a magnet, don't mind that. But this is the wheel, this is the end of the trailer here. As you can see, my older ones snapped off. So this is where I want to mount them now. Here is just a carriage bolt with a nut on the other side. They're pretty small, they're about that big, and um, I went ahead and got two and a half inch stainless steel bolts with a lock washer on the back side. And I just plan on mounting it here, coming across, and then 90 straight up. So that's what we're going to have fun making. Should be simple, inexpensive, cheap, easy fix for the Strombo. So as you saw, this should be a pretty cheap build. We just have nuts and bolts, I think that was $10 because they got stainless. There's uh, four of them, four nuts, four bolts, four washers, We've got two 90s, and then a piece of PVC pipe. So this should be under $20, $15. If you go with the uh, just a regular steel bolt, you should be under $10 for all of this. And all we're going to do is just cut a piece that goes straight out from the boat, and then 90 straight up. And it should work out perfect. Um, go ahead, got some cutters. If you don't have PVC glue or cleaner or primer or any of that at home, then you will be spending a little bit more. But I'm just going to go ahead, dry fit this, and then we'll go ahead, glue them up, and put them on. One idea that I did have, though, was just dry fitting this. And if it sticks really good, then I may just end up putting like a pin or something through it. So that way, if I want to, I can take these bunks off if I'm traveling high speeds and I don't want them wiggling or if I think they're not as secure as I'd want them, then that way I can remove them, put them in the boat or something, and then continue on my trip. Then when I get to the boat ramp, I can just stick them in, put a pin through it, and have it work out great. So we're gonna go ahead, measure, cut, and get everything dry fitted. And then if I wanna glue it in place, then I will. All right, so we're gonna be, we need these two bolts to fasten it. So PVC will come end here, travel here, then we're going to 90 up, and that way it'll pinch. Now, for this to sit straight, we also have to worry about it twisting in there. So hopefully we can get it tight. Probably put a piece of wood in between these, in between the pipe, so that way the bolt has something to crush down onto instead of the empty pipe. So just going to go ahead and dry fit this. The main thing is trying to get this to sit flat and find where it's going to squeeze this boat good so you can get it in there. This is inch and a quarter I believe. Inch and one quarter, 1.25. Um, I would just get a small piece, fit it in here and see how it sits onto here. Hopefully it'll fit good because I don't want to put a bolt and drill through here. I'm going to go ahead measure it out. This piece of PVC is it's a 10 foot piece of PVC, so I figured I would use maybe a foot on each side, so one, two, you have eight foot, and then you can go up four feet if you really needed to. I don't think you should need to. I think three feet would probably be great. So we'll do seven inches. That'll be good. All right, seven inches. Somewhere in there.
go ahead and see how high we want this to sit. Right here is two feet. This is three feet. So that's about chest. I'd probably go three and a half. So 42 inches. 42 inches seems to be prime. Primo. So that's all good. Simple build like that. Three and a half feet tall. I went ahead and pre-marked it. And make a lot of noise. You guys see where my pencil went? So we got all our pieces cut. Just like that. So now we gotta drill them through each side. So we have both of these dry fitted made. Shouldn't be cutting anymore. So what we need to do now is drill holes into this. We got our nuts and bolts. This is what's in there right now. This is what we need to do to get through this. Two on each side, three eighths bolts, two and a half inches long. All right, so we got our drill, we got drill bits. So now we just need to mark this where we need it and then drill our holes. I don't know if you care or not, but I'm going to go ahead, I know, I mean, if you care, but see the writing on there? I'm facing that down so that way it doesn't show, it looks a little nicer. So with this, we'll go ahead and remove these just so we get a nice flush fitting, and we'll see if we can put this lip on here, or if we have to keep it on the outside, like this. But with it this way... It's not pinching up against the boat. I would like it to pinch up against the boat, but I guess it really doesn't matter too much. Time to get a socket. Yeah, so I'll just keep it on the outside. So put it there then I think this will be just fine. So now we got to line those holes up and mark them. Got it. I do have, have it marked. I'm going to go ahead and start with a small bit just so I can get a nice hole started. Small one started and then uh, just move up to the size we need. These are three eighths bolts, so I'll just go to the three eighths bit. Not the prettiest. We go in the right direction, right angle. So we'll go ahead and just flip this around. Oh, I want that on the bottom, so flip that back around. Flip them around. I did get washers just to go on top, just in case the holes are too big and they don't look too big, but I still want to give that head a little bit more to bite on. So. 
Now we'll go down to the boat. Get, go get a wrench. Feels like that's getting sandwiched pretty good. I just don't have enough of the thread sticking out the lock nut on the back. It'll definitely work. I'm gonna have to glue this 90 into here and then take this off. And that should be perfectly fine. This has a tight enough fit where you can wedge it in there and it shouldn't come off in the water. If you're worried about it, go ahead and drill a hole through here and you can just put uh, like a cotter pin or a keep safe in there. So that way it's just a rod that goes through that has a loop on the back that you put through and that way it keeps it in there. But I'll probably just leave it like this when I go to trailer it. This will be glued onto here. That way there's no pressure on, on these two. This is already pretty secure the way it is. So I'll probably just leave it like that, glue this, and then either put a key in here or just leave it like this. Shove it in there when I'm at the ramp, launch my boat, and then when I go to put my boat back on the trailer, these will stay on it. Once the boat's on the trailer, then we can take them off if we're doing the long haul and just travel like that. So that'll be great. But one thing to do before you do this, and your boat should be loaded right, but if you already did this, make sure your boat is on the trailer the way that you want to keep it. So make sure it's, your boat's correctly on the trailer and then start making these. That'll work. All right, so as you see, went ahead, got them up. They're both up. Um, you can go ahead, wrap them in tape, paint them, do whatever you would want. I mean, it's PVC pipe. So you should be able to do whatever you would like with them. I tried a thinner pipe before and bending it with a heat gun to get it to bend and make a nice curve but that didn't work out so well for me with the thin stuff. This thick stuff, you can bend it, just takes a lot more time. And just looking at the way the trailer was built, this seemed to be the easiest option. So that's why I went with it. It was nice and cheap, it was under $20, stainless steel hardware, and I still have some pipe left. So maybe that'll come in handy with another project. But um, this is it, went ahead and glued the elbows onto the short pieces and then I'm going to leave these loose and you'll be seeing them in the future videos so this is what we got that's what happened hope you enjoyed thanks for watching